Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CAD by Nagendra. So in this tutorial, we are going to see a advanced option in CATIA that is nothing but power copy. So what is meant by this power copy means, let's say for example, just I'll enter into here new part and I'll save OK. For example, we are having one base here. Let me create one profile like this. Just I'll create one rectangle. Exit workbench. I'll make this pad by using mirror extent. Just we are having one base here. Now on this base, for example, we are having one hole somewhere here with a diameter of some 20 with a depth of 10 mm. To make proper position, we'll go here with positioning sketch. Then for the center point of the circle, we are having from this to this edge, we are having dimension of some 50. Let me enter this value of 50. Then from this point to here, we are having some 40 like this. Then just I'll say OK. Now by using this original hole, we need to create multiple holes. If you want to create in linear direction, we can go for rectangular pattern. If you want to create in circular motion, we can go for circular pattern. Again, wherever we want, if you want to create in that way, we can go here with user pattern. But if you are going to create this multiple features by using any of these patterns, whatever the diameter for this hole is there of 20 and a depth of 10 mm, same dimensions will be created for all duplicate profiles. If I create one pattern here for this, let's say for example, rectangular pattern with reference to this in reverse direction, some more instances I want with some more gap. Then in second direction also I need more instances with reference to this direction in reverse. If I say OK, so whatever the original parameter dimension and depth is there with the same dimension only we are able to create here. But here what we want means by using this original hole, we need to create multiple duplicate holes and whatever this parameters of diameter 20 and depth of 10 is there. No. That also we need to change for one hole to one hole. It means when we can use this power copy option means if we are having one particular shape, same shape if we want to use multiple times, but we need with different parameter values. In such cases, we can go for power copy. Now let's see how to create power copy. So to create that power copy, first step we need to create this master part. It means for which we need to create power copy. Then go for insert here we need to go for knowledge templates we will find here power copy option just i'll click on power copy just one tab it will open now we need to select here select the component for which we need to create power copy let's say for example we need to create power copy for this hole we'll select here then next we need to go for parameters and we need to select the parameters which parameters we need to modify in future. Now I'll select in sequence one direction and two direction dimensions I have given here one direction 50 I given to select that double click on that like this again I need to change 40 also just I will double click on this then next I need to change diameter diameter I need to change double click then depth I need to change I will double click here. So after selecting these parameters what we want to change just say OK. You can find here nothing we are getting related to power copy in specification tree. But once if I say OK one power copy option will be added in specification tree. Just I'll open this. We are having power copy one. So on this power copy one mouse right click. We need to go here with last option and again we need to go here with instantiate with that power copy we need to create multiple profiles so we need to go for instantiate then whatever here it is highlighting in orange color in the same sequence it need to select why because first it is highlighting this face so whole we have created on this face we need to select that next it is highlighting as this edge so Next edge like offset 50 of dimension we have taken with reference to this edge. So you need to select this edge. Then second offset we have taken from this side. Let me select this edge. 
then if you want to create multiple holes in repeated mode we need to turn on here repeat mode then go for parameters now you can see in the place of 50 in the place of this 50 for example i need some 100 in the place of this 40 i need some 80 diameter i need here 50 depth i need here 50 if i go for close and if i go for preview you can see with the given parameters one more hole is created here just i'll say okay once again i need to create one more hole at some distance with different parameter values again we'll go for parameters in the place of 100 i need here 200 in the place of this 80 i need some 120 or 150 diameter i need 30 depth i need only 5 enter the parameters what you want to modify just close and go for preview again one more hole will be created with the given parameters just i'll say okay like that we are able to create multiple holes by using original hole with different parameters by using power copy while creating this hole you can see error is there with pot body once if i open here we have turned on their repeated mode right so extra hole also will be created just we will delete this because of that repeat mode that extra hole will be created here in this way you can use this power copy option let me go with one more example just i close this i'll enter into new part again let's say for example on this front plane we are having one rectangular section then just i'll make this pad by using mirror extend on both sides like this then i'll remove material with some thickness by using here shell option for this space and this space let's give some thickness of 20 like this now on this top face i'll go for sketch to make proper position i'll use swap then this horizontal should be reverse vertical should be reverse then for example we are having one rectangle here dimension for this rectangle length we are having some 15 dimension from this line to this line i'll give some 20 then length for this we are having here 80 dimension from this edge to this edge i'll keep it some 5 here then exit workbench just i'll make this pad pad i'll keep it here some 30 like this by using this block i need to create multiple blocks in this direction with different parameter values like i need to increase or decrease this width this height and this position so here in this case also we can go for power copy for that master part created we'll go for insert knowledge templates power copy then we need to select the feature for which we need to create power copy let me open part body here we need to select both pad and sketch in before situation hole we have created it means sketch will be created inside of hole we won't create separate sketch and we won't go for hole option whereas if you want to create this pad first we need to enter into sketch after creating sketch only we need to go for pad so both we need to select then go for parameters whatever we want to modify we need to double click on that now let me go here with this offset distance first so first offset distance i given here 15 this 20 second offset distance like this i given here 5 i will double click on that length 80 i have given i need to change that then this height also first limit i given here this 20 then this 15 also i need to change this pad length of 30 also i need to change after double clicking on that just we can find here power copy option in specification tree open this power copy power copy one mouse right click same we will repeat here instantiate then whatever the parameters it is highlighting here we need to select that first it is highlighting this face next edge it is highlighting here because dimension we taken from here 
next we have taken 5 mm from here then if you want multiple we will turn on repeat mode go for parameters this distance 5 i have given let's say for example i need this gap of 10 length total length i have given 80 i need only length of 50 again this offset distance we given 20 here let me give some 60 here then this width i have given 15 i need only here 10 then pad height i need here 60 just to go for close if i go for preview one more block with the different parameters will be created like this again say okay one more if you want again parameters again just we will change here for example i need 20 length i need only 20 then offset distance i need 100 width of some 30 then pad height of some 10 i give just i'll go for preview with the given parameters block will be created so like this by using power copy we are able to create multiple features by using this original feature with the different parameter values i hope you have understood this topic thanks for watching keep supporting if you feel this video is informative please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much Thank you.